Welcome back to Classic Rides. The paint treatments we've done in our Airstream have made a dramatic improvement in our bathroom, but we still had a wall with cracked and peeling wallpaper. We thought about what to do with this, and since it's an Airstream, we're going to go with an aluminum wall treatment. First, we created a template by placing paper onto our bathroom wall and tracing out the pattern. What we're going to do from here is trace it out and then cut it. The sheets of aluminum we're using are 36 by 36 and cost us about $40. Now what we've done is taped two pieces together since we're going to overlap a piece and we're overlapping the top onto the bottom so we create a water seal by caulking and having it overlap so there's no water penetration to the back side of the wall. Then we'll trace the pattern onto our aluminum and cut it out. We're going to use an electric shear because it creates a really nice clean cut. However, it leaves a mark on the aluminum, so we're going to protect our aluminum before we start cutting. When taping a curve, bend and manipulate the tape as you go. We'll start our cut here. Now remember that you have to align your cutter edge, not the center, with your template mark or your cut mark. You have to allow for the piece of metal that it's going to remove while it's shearing. I cut about a quarter inch outside of our side edge to give us some wiggle room. The top line can be cut exactly since we can adjust the two pieces if needed. To demonstrate how we'll adhere the aluminum to the wall in our Airstream, I'll use a sample board and small sheets of aluminum. This wall board is about the same thickness as the wall board in our bathroom. So what we'll be doing is putting our aluminum onto our wall board using an adhesive as well as a pop rivet. We we'll use the same techniques with these two pieces of aluminum here and install them onto our wall board like we will in our bathroom. So the first thing we need to do is apply our adhesive. This is an all-purpose adhesive. And the thing about a contact adhesive is that you need to spray both surfaces. Once you've got both surfaces sprayed, you need to let them tack a little bit so that the glue is still kind of tacky but it doesn't string. Good, we're ready. So our first piece goes on like this. Now you see I'm not just flopping it around. You've got one shot at this. So I align my edge to where I can adjust. And I'm satisfied with that. And then I'm kind of rolling it on. Mask off the lower piece of aluminum and apply the spray adhesive to the wall and to the top piece of aluminum. To ensure a good seal, run a bead of silicone caulking where the top overlaps the bottom piece. Now we treat this the same way we did the first one. We'll start with our edge. To secure the aluminum and give it an authentic Airstream look, we'll install pop rivets. Choose a rivet that matches the thickness of the wall material. To install the rivets, you could use an inexpensive and easy to use hand riveter. Or if you have many rivets to do, use a pneumatic riveter, which is powered by air from a compressor. To demonstrate the riveting process, I use a sample piece of wood that's the same thickness as our bathroom wall. Drill the holes for the rivets using a bit slightly larger than the rivets. Install the mandrel part of the rivet into the rivet gun. Put the rivet shaft into the hole and squeeze the gun handle until the rivet pops into place. Now you see I kept pressure on that while I was pulling the trigger up. If you pull up, sometimes it has a tendency to jump, and if it jumps, it could mar your surface. Now this is what the rivets do. While they're being pulled in, the, the back expands and it mushrooms, and that's what holds our paneling to our wall board. Very nice. There's one more thing I'm going to do before I'm finished here. I'm going to take a little bit of our 100% silicone and daub it in the head of each of these rivets. Since this is a tub surround, we want to make sure we have a 100% water seal. Great. We're going to follow each of these steps when we install our aluminum backsplash into our bathroom. As always, for step-by-step -step information about the aluminum wall treatment and other projects in this show, visit the Classic Rides pages at the DIY website, DIYNetwork.com. The doorway frame goes back in, 
and is secured. Cool. The aluminum wall treatment looks great and is perfect for our classic Airstream. There's more to do in the bathroom. When we come back, we'll work on the plumbing and install new faucets and fixtures.